Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jennifer. If you're new to my channel and if you're not, welcome back. So for today's video, we have another store that bitch look, steal her style, steal her look. You guys get the drill. So we have another one of those and it's gonna be for the artist called Dua Lipa. Actually, kind of like her music and after this video, I actually really, really like her style. Her street style is so out there. She kind of like wears whatever she wants. Definitely breaking the rules. And definitely clashing trends I really really like her a lot so if you guys would like to see how I recreated her looks as you guys know I'm gonna go for something that is exactly kind of like what she was wearing and then I'm also gonna show you guys different takes just in case because this video is not just like oh straight copycat it's kind of like we're looking at the colors we're looking at the silhouettes so it's kind of more of an informative kind of video and a video meant to inspire you to also create your own looks so without further ado, if you guys would like to see the outfits that I recreated for Dua Lipa, then just please keep on watching. This was the first outfit that I found from Dua Lipa and it really did surprise me and shock me because I felt like it was such a clash of so many different things but it went so well together that I actually fell in love with it. So for my recreation, I wore my Adidas track pants. I got those off of ASOS and then that little cami top. It's actually a top very inspired by like the early 2000s. I really like the cow neckline and if you're a small itty bitty titty committee kind of girl, then that top is gonna look so, so good on you. Then for the sneakers, I wore the same ones that she had on, which were the Nike TNs. I just, of course she wore color and you know, I didn't have none of that in my wardrobe. So I had to do with what I had. She went for something really dressed up up, but casual at the same time. I just really love the look. I want to show you guys that you could take major inspiration from these celebrities, but you don't have to copy them head to toe exactly. So in my next look, I did something slightly different. I felt like this is something that I kind of would wear more. So I put my hair down because since it's like a really slink, slinky top, I need my hair as kind of like a scarf sort of, so I'm not too exposed. And then instead of the book bag, I went for a fanny pack. It's again sporty and chic. I did like the rest of the outfit, so I left it alone, but I did switch out my sunglasses. I do like that cat eye sunglasses look, but I just don't really like it on me. The next look is something so, so trendy. That's one thing I noticed about her. She is a very, very trendy girl. So she got cargos. She got that red IMG atop. So for my recreation, I just wore a pair of green cargo pants. Those cargo pants were from the thrift store. They were from Armani Exchange. No, they were from Giorgio Armani, so like the super high-end one. So I got really lucky with those pants. And then for the top, since she was wearing kind of like a corset looking top, I decided to wear my corset looking top. So that one is actually thrifted as well, but originally from Guess, and it's just like a vintage corset top. And then she just had like white sneakers on, but I decided to pair a chunky sneaker with it. These are the Fila Disruptors, and these are very, very trendy at the moment. So once again, I recreated her look, but Slightly different, you know, using the clothes that I had already in my wardrobe. And I feel like cargo pants are something that's really stylish at the moment. So basically just think rocking cargo pants with a corset top, any corset. And then once again, to take an even like bigger twist on the outfit, I kept on the cargo pants because I really do like cargo pants. So I kept those on and then I changed up my top. That bodysuit is from a brand called K The Label, I believe, and I got it on sale. She was wearing like white regular sneakers and then for the second look, I wore my Fila Disruptors. But for these, I just wanted to keep on with the chunky sneaker trend because it is so fire at the moment. So I wore my Wave Runners, but of course, any sneaker I think will do. This third look right here, I think that it was like a magazine cover or something and I just thought it was so simple, plain and cute so I wanted to recreate it. She's basically just wearing a top and a skirt. So her top was an Adidas t-shirt. I don't have an Adidas t-shirt but I do have an Adidas bodysuit so that's why I wore that. And then she was wearing just like a regular black skirt and I do have a regular black skirt but I wanted to show you guys, you know, something slightly different so I wore kind of like a satin skirt and it has a really pretty slit up the thigh 
and then she wore just like some flat regular sneakers and it just continued on with the chunky sneaker trend this look was so simple and casual i just thought it was really cute and don't, just keep in mind that you know at the end of the day it's a skirt and a shirt that she wore so if you wanted to recreate it it is just so easy to do with whatever you have in your wardrobe this last look was one of kind of like my favorites which is like random because it doesn't seem like too trendy or too anything but i just like the fact that she just clashed so many things together so I decided to rework this outfit in three different ways. So the first way is that like striped polo top that's actually from the thrift store from the men's section. I've seen those tops so, so many times. So you could just buy one and basically crop it yourself. And then I paired it with a brown leather skirt and that skirt is also thrifted. And then she did have heels on, but I'm more of a sneaker girl right now. So I just decided to wear my Yeezy power phases and then for the second one I just basically showed you guys because she's all she's wearing is like an oversized crop shirt so I wanted to show you guys how I kept the same skirt on and then I wore a oversized crop sweater it doesn't have that collar but I personally don't really like collars on me and then since she was wearing heels in her first look, I wanted to go for heels in this one. And those are just like Mary Jane style heels. Those in particular are from Fendi, but Mary Jane style heels are made by many different brands at all different price points. And then for the last look, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of fun with mixing prints and stuff. Because like I told you guys, she was mixing stripes, plaid, and then some. So I basically, paired up this like summer plaid skirt and it's just like a full pleated skirt I got it from the thrift store and then I paired my black and white checkered vans and I do like I know it's like really minimal but I really really do like the clash of the prints and then just to like make it a little bit cohesive I wore my black fanny pack and then of course to make it neutral I wore a white t-shirt because I just I don't do plaid on plaid on plaid like I do like the vibe that she gave and I did like get a lot of inspiration from it so this is kind of like my take on it so i really hope that you guys enjoy guys so so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it just lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content so i can continue on making these kind of videos as always if you have any recommendations for other artists that i should recreate then please don't forget to comment that down below i'm going to insert here the artist that i am already kind of working on i always like to remind you guys that if you comment i'm actually paying attention to what you're saying you're not commenting into an empty space you are sending me a message basically so thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope that you guys are enjoying my channel i have a lot of things planned for the month of july so i'm very excited about that and i hope to see you guys in my next one bye